Yo, Keen, you think we should change things up with Old Town Repo a little bit? Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of thinking so too. I like your, I like your idea. That's smart. I, I mean, if you want everything black, we can go black. Okay, so me, me and Keen did a little talking, and he was like, "Dude, squad, you should go everything with black. You should make everything black." And I was like, "Heck, that's a good idea, actually, dude." So uh, he wants to see me do it. He wants me like he's he's just like stalking me right now. But we want everything black. We're gonna take all these trucks, turn them black, and all the equipment we're about to get and turn them black. Now Chow is not gonna be here. I know, I know, it's sad. Chow's not gonna be here today. He's not. He's he's not gonna be working today. So um, what we're gonna do is like. I always get like, we always do all these role plays and stuff. And then I never get like organized and we never create anything like cool and actually build onto Old Town Repo. We just have like two sheds, two shops, and nothing's like, nothing's new, nothing's nice looking, nothing's fresh looking. And so that's what I want to do today. I got another idea and that is to build a secret bunker. I, okay, so my idea here is, okay, so it's going to be out here. What it'll be is all of a line of trees that kind of block the bunker. So I'm going to have a line of trees all the way down here. And I'm going to have a second line of trees right along here. And then I'm going to build, I'm going to build like a little stair, not stairwell, but like a little ramp heading down to the bunker, like through the ground with a landscaping tool. Right. And it gets all the way, like we'll dig this thing deep and I'll have like a, almost like a room down there or like a, a car's width lane all the way down here. That's really deep in the ground. And then on the other end, maybe you can drive up and you can drive out of it. But what I'm going to do is since I have a row of trees, I'm going to go along cut down the whole row of trees the row of trees should lay over the bunker and so like if we need to hide from anybody we can like hide down there if we if somebody is really coming for a car and we know they're gonna be coming they're gonna go in the shed they won't know where it is because it'll be in the secret bunker here and then that first row of trees is going to be covering it it's my there's probably a better way to do this but this is how i'm going to try to do it but first let's get some equipment so we're always driving this truck around right and like this is our go-to truck if we need to transport anything we just always take the f-450 but what i gotta do is we need another like more versatile truck that can just like rip up and down the street probably not a dually and something that can really go off road something we can have a winch on the back and we can just yank anything out so it needs to be heavy needs to be versatile needs to be able to go off roading that's tough to do so what i did is i sold you know that chevy that was in there i sold that chevy the k30 and we're gonna we're gonna get a new k30 i'll show you guys what it's gonna be it's gonna be more of like a mud truck this thing is gonna be like the go-to daily driver probably should, it's kind of an old truck probably shouldn't use it as a daily driver but i was like let's do it now this i bought this oh, i always pronounce it wrong manitoa manitoa uh pella handler we got the front duels this was edited by expendables modding and it's red now i'm gonna change it to all black because i want everything to be black on this map now i have like maxed out weights in the rear and then we're gonna put a big forklift on it and so like this is for like if we have a car we can't get off the trailer we're gonna use this because this can lift just about anything actually so i have the extended long forks and they only work for skiddler i don't know what i was thinking when i bought them and they won't go on this so now i have to use just these in-game forks that aren't even that good they're fine i just like like longer forks especially when we're like lifting up cars so like f450 can we lift the f450 up okay so check this out <laughs> dude there's no problem i want to lift a semi with this thing this is why we have this so like we have cars we're repoing and we're trying to get this can just go pick them up easily no chain nothing we really have to take them we got this but i need it to be all black so i'm going to drop those forks off we're going to head back and we're going to change it to all black same with that f450 we're going to black that out and then i'm going to get a k30 that's all blacked out so everything, the whole theme of this is to go black with all of our vehicles. Like Keen said, customized design color, jet black. There we go. We do have some red yet. I don't know if I can do anything about that. What's standard? I think we already have maxed out weights. Do we? Okay, well, I'm going to just put maxed out weights on anyways. Maybe we didn't. Okay, perfect. This thing is a beast. She's ready to rock and roll. And I'm also getting all new trailers. I'm getting an updated version of some of the trailers we had. We had some old trailers that just weren't updated. So I'm going to get some updated versions. That must be... uh. That must be Chow's Lam Lambo right there. Okay, F450 is getting a little customization. I'm going to change up the rims on this too. I always like the stock rims, but we're going to change her up a little bit. So we'll go black. Maybe that's too too black. No, it's definitely not too black. I like this black. So we're going to go that black. Black. Uh, toolbox tank. That's fine. We could go. Oh, you know what? We had, we had a flatbed on it. We got to make sure we have a flatbed. So I'm going to go the Alicos. Alicos, the Patriot rims. Patriot rims. 
we're going to go with. And then uh, I think it's Patriot Tires and then Black. How do you pronounce it? Alicos. I know everybody tells me how to pronounce it last time, but I always forget. Um, and then we're going to go a flatbed. There we go. Flatbed on this. Okay, so that's all blocked out. Looks sweet. Dude, we need, uh, we need a cow pusher in the front of this. That would look perfect. We had a cow pusher in the front of this. So I'm going to go customize. Perfect. And then I need a black 40, or I need a black gooseneck trailer too. So we're going to go load loaders. I also have this car trailer, which we're going to get in case we're moving cars. It needs to be secret. I'm just basically going all out on this. That, that, looks, that looks pretty good. It does say RCC on there. Should we go all black like that? Or well, logos. Okay, so no logo. Kind of like that RCC logo, but we'll go no logo. Uh, purple interior lights, green interior lights, blue, yellow, red, white. We'll just go white. We'll just keep it simple. There we go. That looks kind of good. So it's got like a black top to it, and it's got almost a grayish, blackish body to it. That looks good. There we go. I'm also going to get a black big text trailer. Uh, what's going to look best here for color? We're not going to buy it like that. Okay, that looks pretty, that looks pretty solid. We're going to go extended deck. I always like to put, I don't know why you want to just put all mega ramps on there. But we're just, yeah, we'll, we'll just go mega ramps. Um, attacher. I wouldn't mind to have a rear attacher because what I can do is I can put the winch on there. And I can attach a winch to that rear attacher. And then, uh, heck, if we need to pull something out and we have the trailer connected, we don't have to unhook the trailer. Or I guess you can, you know what, you could just put the winch up there either way. There we go. Gooseneck. Perfect. Ready to rock and roll. Now, this is the big thing. I'm going to buy the Chevy K30, but it's going to be a mud truck. I'll show you guys. So, black everything. Black. Black. <laughs> uh, actually, I kind of want to go red in tier. That would be kind of cool to go red in tier. I love the red in tier, but we should probably go black everything. Ah, oh, you can't. What would an orange... Oh, that looks sweet, dude. What about blue? Oh, I don't know what to go. I always like the red. The red. Red looks mean. Okay, so I'm going to go, huh, do we go flatbed or do we go regular bed? I'm going to try regular bed. We'll see what happens. So wheel brand, uh, we can go towing, but check out these wheels. Mud, baby. Mud. Now, I don't know. Do you go flatbed? Do you, because it's. It honestly looks good because it's got such wide tires. These are almost like huge fender flares on the rear of this. Man. So do you go a flatbed? Okay, let's let's go back to flatbed. Let's see what flatbed looks like. This would be the flat. Oh, wait. Nope. Oh, you can't go the other flatbed. So it's got to be this flatbed. Man, I don't know what looks better. I, I say we keep it like that, dude. I like that. I like that a lot better. So I don't want this dirty or rusty, but I want to tint, dude. Let's tint the heck out of this. Um, let's go here. Let's upgrade the engine. Tint all the way. There we go. Nice. Okay, so this is going to be like our go-to truck. I'm going to throw a winch on the back of this. Does it have a hitch on the front? It does not have a hitch on the front. That's fine. Um, license plates. Expendables rear. Cherokee. Let's go Expendables. Expendables made this, so I'm going to go Expendables on all this. Perfect. He's ready to rock and roll. Uh, wait, design color. Oh, yeah, that's that's right. That's the seats. That's the interior. Perfect. Okay, now the last thing is once we start getting bigger loads, we're going to need a semi. And Expendables just released like this crazy, giant, uh, dull, heavy haul trailer. So I'm going to go all black with this again. Um, What do I want exactly, though? Does that look good? Oh, there's like wood on top of it. Okay, we'll go black like that. That looks good. Rim color, black. Oh yeah, uh, design color. Let's just go black. Okay. I don't even know what design color even changed. I'd like to get these these hubs on here black too, but I think they gotta stay red. So I need options. Wide one, wide two. Yeah, let's go. Let's go all the way wide. Yeah, because we're gonna have some wide vehicles. Let's go all the way wide. Default steering axles. Oh, so the axles will actually steer. I don't think it, we need that. It'd be nice. We don't really need that though. So I'm gonna buy that, but then I'm gonna buy a Kenworth now. I'm going to buy the meanest Kenworth I can, all black. So I'm going to go trucks. This baby's going to be mean. I want another rollback. Like, there aren't many rollbacks out there. Oh, we got to get all black rollback, too. Oh, what? We should have done that a long time ago. That bed looks a ton better. Uh, that doesn't really look good. Okay, we'll do that. Logging, rollback, standard. Oh, front trailer hitch. Did I put that on last time? 
There we go. Okay, nice. I think I sold our other rollback or Chow like drove it off a cliff or something. Okay, so the Kenworth. We need to go all black with this. That's gray. That's gray, but it does look really good because it's UDIM. I'm going to try something like this. Hopefully it's not. Hopefully it's fine. Black rims. Nice. That's a different kind of gray. Yeah, baby. There we go. That looks sick. Okay, but do we go single axle? Or do we go double? Oh, I think that looks good, man. I'm so glad we went. Okay, let's put the meanest exhaust possible. It's either exhaust one or exhaust five. I think exhaust one. Exhaust one looks clean, looks nice, looks simple. There we go. Bumper. Heck yeah, we need a big bumper on this. Uh, yes, definitely bumper four. Nice. Uh, fenders. I don't... Honestly, the color one? Color ones aren't bad on this. Let's go color one. Fender painted. Um, rack. This is like a logging rack. We don't really need it, but man, that'll look sweet. Okay, perfect. That's what we're doing. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. Okay, is there anything else we need? I do need a ton of winches. Do I go all black with the winches? It's going to be like, it's going to be hard to see even if you go all black with the winches. Let's figure out what we have first. This looks good. Ah, oh, the yellow striping, man. It gets to you. I wish we could delete that. We can't though. Um, the Kenworth. Looks pretty good. It looked, I felt like it looked better in the shop though. It looks good. Man, I think one of the best looking trucks is this K30. We went with big mud tires, got rid of the duels. Big mud tires on this. Oh my gosh, that looks nice. Um, okay, so we need a whole, we need to haul that back. We need a whole, we need to toss a lot of winches on stuff. So I'm gonna have to buy winches. Okay, we'll go all black with it. There we go. So there's an all black one. Buy, we'll probably need two of them at least. I don't know if it's, I don't know if you can have two hooks even. Chow has one, Chow has one hook too. Okay, we're gonna leave a little white so I can at, at least see it. Um, perfect. I'm gonna buy two hooks. We'll see how this goes. Okay, so I know for sure one of them will go on the K30, the rear end of the K30. It's gonna be our truck. It'll probably have to pull a trailer back, but it's for sure gonna go on the K30. So I'm gonna move. There's one winch. I don't know where the other winch went. Dude, it'd be sweet if I could get a front winch on the K30. That would be perfect. Okay, that's hooked up, ready to rock and roll. Um, we need the tow hook on one of these. So you just usually set it here, as long as I said it the right way. I'm not sure if I said it the right way or not. By the way, thank you for each and every one of you for watching this video. And thank you guys for the support lately, liking the video. Man, I appreciate it so much. You guys are like fantastic. Every one of you guys is like, and, and you guys comment a ton. I, it's tough to even read all the comments we get lately. So, so thank you guys. There we go. By the way, how many of you guys are off school if you go to school? Like, I'm off school. I got off school, like, May 5th or May, like, 6th or something like that. How many? Are you guys? I'm pretty sure, like, a lot of people are off school now. Like, are all off school. Okay. That, uh, that hook is placed the wrong way. There we go. We got it connected. You can see it locked in there. I didn't even see this, but this actually goes into the 7-pin outlet. That's kind of cool. Like, how they configure that. The winch is already on there. The winch is ready to rock and roll. I gotta find my other, my other winch. I mean, I know I bought it. I think it's in between one of these cracks. Nope. It's probably over here. Yep, there she is. These winches are really heavy too, actually. Okay, so this winch could go... It might not be bad to put on that 450, but I'm going to put it on the front of this ram. I think this would be perfect. I always call these dodges, and finally, for the first time, I call them ram. A lot of people get on me like that. Like, if I see a ram truck, I'll still call it a dodge, like, all day long, even though I guess it's considered only a ram now. Not even... Not even a dodge. Okay, this hook's on. Everything's ready to go here too. Oh, that ram looks good. Okay, so we're gonna hook up K30 to, uh, okay, yeah. Let's go K30 to big equipment trailer. Then we'll go F450 to the car hauler. That'll work good. That way we have a car hauler. If we need to hide anything, if we need to pick up a couple cars, a couple of something, we can take that. There we go, we're hooked up. Even the winch, I don't think the winch is gonna hit. I think we should be good there. Nice. Okay, so we gotta load this telehandler up. Uh, you know what? I could load it on the semi, I guess. We'll load it on the K30, though. I wanna see this K30 haul it. 
Actually, it would be, be kind of cool to load it on the semi. We're going to load it on the semi, actually. But, since we're going to make so many trips and we have so many vehicles, I might as well load one vehicle on. So I'm going to just load the Ram on this trailer. That way I don't have to make two trips. So I got the Chevy loaded down. The Ram on the back of the Chevy. Dude, that Ram is actually really heavy. And I think the majority of it, of it is because of that winch and, and how heavy that winch actually is. And we connected this trailer. This should work perfect. I figured take the dually, put the dually on the big like enclosed car hauler. That'll work a lot better, even though it's empty. Uh, so for now, we'll put this here. The last thing is to get this this giant telehandler loaded up. And I think this is going to be heavy because we got so much weights. We have front front new wheels on her. So she's going to, it's going to be interesting. Dude, watch these fold down. Watch the ramps fold down. <laughs> That's really neat, actually. And there's so many, so much hydraulics on this. I guess you can do a lot of different stuff with this. So raise, lower that. Back end tips up a little bit. What about side to side? Yeah, stuff just moves in all different directions. Perfect. I think we should be good. Right there. That should be good. Okay. So, moment of truth. Telehandler. How heavy is this thing? Will it load good? Turn our beacon on. on. I love this thing all black. It looks nice. Dude, this control is so good too. Okay. Right up there. Oh, yeah. Okay. I think we're good. Heck yeah. We could fit like three telehandlers on here. Okay. So the first thing, since the, since the semi is out, we're just going to take the semi back. Um, I'll probably just park it in the shop there. This trailer is like pushing this semi around, dude. It's like sliding. I'm tr See, I'm trying to go and stuff. Let me put that third axle down. I don't know. Is that going to do anything? Is it X to put the... There we go. Okay, so third axle is down. I don't know if that's going to help at all. Maybe you need to adjust the weight. Oh, there we go. Now it drives a lot better once I raised it up. Taking our newly built road. This thing looks nice. And then I'm going to... I guess for now, I'll probably just park it around back for now. Man, I need to make this thing wider. There we go. Swing water around here. And then, nice. Okay, so I'm just going to park her along the shed for now. We'll go grab the other stuff. I know a lot of you guys want to see how the K30 hauls. <laughs> it's not dually anymore, so it's got just these big, like, floater mud tires on her. Looks so good. Looks so clean. All black, like that. Okay, right hand turn. This thing handles good. Because this is a heavy truck on the back, too. You got to think about that. Since this is supposed to be an off-road truck, I'm going to take her through the ditch. Just watch the suspension on this truck and how it handles through here. <laughs> this is neat, dude. It just pulls it through here. I probably shouldn't be doing this with a trailer, but it's just really cool watching this thing go. I mean, look at it. It'll climb anything. Watch. I'll just climb right up here. It'll do it. Man, dude, I want to go off-roading so bad with this truck. There we go. Okay, so this is up here. Now, I probably should unload this, but for now, I'm going to put this one back here. Watch out, King. Okay? I'm going to put this one just back here, too. Uh, we'll Okay, we'll put it right alongside of the semi. That'll work out good right here. And then the last, but not least, the F450 we have to go back for. There we go. We made it back with all three. Those are looking good. Okay, so... The secret underground bunker is what I have to work on next. I don't know how this is going to go down. I, <laughs> I, Okay, let's just... Dude, this is going to be bad. This might be bad. So I'm going to go... Do I do I dig the hole? I think I dig the hole first. I think that's a smart idea. Now, it's not really a secret bunker. When 50, 60,000 people are going to know about this bunker. But, fine. So, um, sculpting. It's probably big enough. I'm going to just start it. Like, curve it around here. I don't know, this, is, this might be the stupidest thing I've ever done. But here we go. Um, let's set... Let's set our strength real high on this. So just set it to one. See how this works. There's the start of it, okay. Okay, so here's what I built so far. It's gonna be secret, you come around back down here, through here, and then this is gonna be underground. Again, this is gonna be all covered by trees, and then boom, you can like hide 
down here. Heck, we could fit. So Dude, I didn't realize how big I made it. We could fit so many like cars down here. This is crazy how big I made it. I was like, I thought this was going to be too small at first. So I don't know. This is going to be weird, dude. What? Okay. So here we go. I need trees. I could block this with something else like houses. I could put houses all around it or sheds all around it too. That's probably a really good idea to do something like that. But I'm going to go trees for now. I'm just going to turn this into like a giant forest. We're going to go uh, decorations. I need the, honestly, that depending on how big these are, this might be the way to go. Ah, this is probably the way to go. Or, yeah, let's go those trees. Let, let's try one of those trees at least. Okay, so, <laughs> so now I'm going to drop this. I'm going to cut it. Cut it as low as possible. And cut it so it falls across the other side. Fall, fall. Oh gosh. Okay, so it kind of worked. I can kind of maneuver these around a little bit. It's fine. But... What's going to happen is this has so many branches on the side, it's like pulling it different ways. So the best is probably those pine. The pine would probably be the best for this. But there it is. Dude, this is perfect. Actually, I'm going to use one of these for like right here. Because you'll drive through and you'll be able to kind of drive through the leaves. I'm going to come over here a little bit. If this one would stop swaying so much. There we go. See, it like blocks off this whole layer here. Everybody just thinks this is a hole. You drive through it. I think you should. Okay, no, you're not going to be able to drive through this. Shoot. Darn it. Okay, maybe this tree was a horrible. This could be a horrible idea, dude. So I'm going to go. I'm going to go bigger pine trees. See how this works out. Or spruce, I mean. A spruce medium should fit across there. Here we go. Okay, I placed like four or five different spruces across here. Drop the tree. See yeah, how she does. I'm not even looking. I'm just going to start dropping them all. Because otherwise this is a big failed plan. I could tell that one dropped in, didn't it? Oh. Oh my gosh, dude. I placed them too far away. One of them went. One of them didn't. Wow, that was a horrible fail, dude. Now they're all lined up down there. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we're going to have to go bigger, bigger spruces. Okay, here we go. Will this work? Cut it. By the way, chainsaw always cuts to your left in case you guys are cutting stuff. It's probably going to start rolling. That's my guess. Oh, that one kind of worked. Okay, I know what I need to do. I need to put these further back. Okay, so here's what I got so far. Oh, a lot of them fell down. I just started piling them over there. Some of these are like, I don't know. It's kind of cool, actually. Uh, this is all hanging over. And then we got to fill over that side yet, too. And then we got to surround this with, like, big trees. Because people are going to be like, what the heck is that, dude? That's, like, so obvious, right? So I got to surround this with, like, big trees all throughout here yet. That's that's uh, that's the main thing. So for now, we're just going to close this off. I'm just going <sighs> to... Maples are tough, but we're just going to put... We're going to put big maples through here. So just maple tree, maple tree, maple, maple, maple. There we go. So it's kind of closed off a little bit. It's tough to see. I got, I got some more work to do yet over there. But guys, this is going to be the end. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. If you did... Please hit that like button, and hey, we should have Chow back in the next couple days to help out a little bit. But seriously, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys so much. Appreciate you guys just viewing it. Even if you don't like it, thank you for watching it. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you later.